damage over time effects can either be lethal or non-lethal. An example of lethal damage over time would be the Ranger Hideout's poison arrows. The poison damage can finish off an enemy if their health is low enough. An example of non-lethal poison damage would be the poison from Savage Hunters. When a unit gets to low enough HP, they simply stop taking damage from the poison. The affliction will still be there, but it won't deal damage. Generally, all damage over time effects that the player can inflict are lethal. Meanwhile, it's all over the place for enemies. Non-lethal damage over time includes the poison from Rot Shrooms, Rats, Savage Hunters, and the Reaper Queen. However, lethal damage over time includes poison from Sons of Mactens and Driders, Dark Blood from Spitters, Champions, and Godeath, Burning from Flarens, Fissures, Fire Totems, and No Burners. The rule to remember is that damage over time inflicted from enemies is non-lethal, unless the effect is burning and or is from an enemy in Origins. One final fun fact about damage over time is that units will take damage over time if they are moving, but if they are teleporting, they will not. Pay attention to all the afflictions that units and enemies can inflict, and you'll figure out what's lethal and what's not over time.